Alright, what's up guys? It's Nintendo Freaker here showing you how to put codes like well I'm just gonna put Game Shark codes in your Pokemon Emerald. But not all codes because walk the rolls won't work. The should know why. If you don't know, just post a comment and I'll reply. <laughs> I just run. Anyways, step one important step. You should at least have a version of the English version, United States version, Japan version. Who cares? At least you should have one of those. And yeah, but don't get 386. You could post a comment why. Just don't get it. All right, you're gonna save the game and the Wii using an SD card or USB if you don't have a laptop or whatever properly in both ways I made already a video so you would understand what I'm trying to tell you or show you whatever but anyways just wait for a sec as I pop the video out and you'll know what I'm talking about hold up First of all, go to your V bags. It should be in either the homebrew channel or just the Wii menu channel. Doesn't matter how you get it, just go. Load your Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna skip this. If you haven't started your game, at least start it until you get to in the inside of a truck so if you're not even if you're far in the game like let's say you already got eight gym leaders you're the champion or whatever you can still be able to put codes tons and tons of codes endless codes all right here's the next step save Yeah, this is what I did first, but anyways, just save um, your game, but that's not all you have to save. Press the, um, the Wii uh, home button and go to go back. Go to right here and click these two boxes click one of them first and then click the snapshot so you can save it and then you get out of the Wii and take out the SD card properly by just exiting all the way to the Wii menu then you can take out your SD card once you've done that put it in your uh, laptop and here's the next step. Next step, you already probably saw it. It's at the description already, so just click on the Visual Boy Advance 1.8.3. It should be on the top, the first one. Beta 3. Just go over here. If you don't have this, just go over here and yeah, that's what you do first. Make sure you, if you don't have it, then oh well, you just have to get it. Okay, there's a reason why. And I'll show you that reason. Well, you should probably already know. And the reason is your games make a white screen. So if your game, Pokemon Emerald game, has white a white screen. Just go to one to eight K. And click that by going to Options, Emulator, Save Type, and Flash 1 to 8K. You click on that. Once you click on it, open and open your GBA, Emerald U GBA. Well, I'm playing the different one, but you'll get the point. 
and I'm really gonna have to see all that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Next step, you gotta file import battery file. So and then go to your save from your SD card. And there should be something like this for saving in the Wii how I showed you. If you didn't save, like I showed you in that mini video, uh, you're gonna have to do that. So if you're lazy, sorry, you're gonna have to be not lazy and do what I did in that video. So you just double click or just click once and open. It'll say something like this, ignore it, don't worry. When you import a game, any erase saved games will be erased and reset the emulator. Uh, make sure you don't, make sure you really, seriously, don't X out if you still have the Pokemon emulator until you export the game. I'll show you later. Just press OK. Alright. Now it's proving time. Go to your cheats in your cheat list. Right now, it always happens. It will always be empty. <sighs> That's the wonder of BBA. Anyways, go to your game shark. Now I have codes over here. Right here. It's the master code. Just copy. And it's in the description, so you don't have to type it while you're watching the video. Just copy and paste in Game Shark. Not Code Breaker, not Cheat, not Code. I don't know what, uh, what in the world is that supposed to be. Never figured it out. Then you could put Master Code. And that anyways I'm not allowed to touch my keyboard or something will happen to this video so sorry if I'm wasting your little little time just to find out this you guys want to find this out and I'm showing you so anyways you put the other one Just copy this one and paste it. We shall have the two master codes. Now, there's this other one called the anti DMA, which is right here. I'll show you that later after I put this. I'll exp All right. It will say that. Don't worry, that doesn't mean that you won't have that master code too. It will say that. So, ignore it, just press OK. And it will make that crappy sound. Still ignore it. Go to Game Shark, and it will disappear. Now, the anti DMA, it should be activated, but it shall be activated in a Pokemon Center or Pokemart. It also in any house, but I still recommend. A mart or a center. Just go inside the building and it will work. So just copy that code and um, paste it. I don't put anything. And then here's a bonus for you guys that's in the description also. Master. Just copy and paste it. Yeah, that's how much code you have to put. And just press OK. Yeah, you get free Master Ball. I have three in the bag. I'm gonna get one more. 
Let me make that five. So that way you guys will go like, oh, this this works. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Because sometimes you guys think that that the person making the video is the idiot, the fraud, the whatever. So I'm gonna save in here because I saved outside. I'm gonna save in the Pokemart. So really, save three times. Alright, after that, go to File, Export. This is the time. You export, and you export in your ROMs and in your save. So you're going to have to like press the export thing two times. But when you export, make sure you don't press any of this. And if you do, it's easy. Make sure you don't double click it. Just click out of the way thing, and you just press Save. Don't click anything. I'm serious. So if you click something, you press save, you're gonna be like, what the heck? I don't see anything in my Wii. I don't have the code. F you whatever. Just save. You do the same thing in the save folder. In your SD card. You just save. Then after that, you can X out. Then let me see. Yeah, go to your little mini folder. In your SD cards. Your SD card, not that. SD card, my cards. Uh, you go to ROMs. Make sure that the big sad thing. It says sad. S A B is both is capitalized. If it's not capitalized, then you're gonna have to do that again. Because usually it won't be there, so you're gonna have to do it twice. Then go over here. See? Sad. And then your saves file. You're gonna have to make sure you delete the auto.sav, the one that you imported, because it will block this, meaning that you won't get the one that you actually saved, like in a few seconds ago. It only popped out this that you had in a few minutes ago. So you're gonna have to delete the auto.sav. Remember what I told you. This doesn't show up. You're going to have to do the same thing. Import this. And pretty much this will pop out. So delete this. Make sure you have that. After you got that, X out. And next step. Say the Pokemon. Are you guys? Uh, and any other games you guys enjoy three freaking times seriously step seven export your game to both ROMs and save files and I forgot to put to delete the auto.sav now you can close the Pokemon game so that way put in your Wii you get out the SD card properly properly put it on the Wii and see what happens so You'll get to see what happened. And just hold up a sec. This is gonna take a while for me, so you might just wanna skip this part of the vid. So just get your SD card out. Uh put it in your Wii. And go to your V bags. That's in. That's uh. In your homebrew or in your Wii menu channel, whatever, wherever it is. I really don't give a crap. Just. Whatever. All right. 
so oops too close and then too close to the TV you show that just go to your view fucking ammo of view yeah yeah Yo, show that. Here's proof. I had 17 minutes of playing and it changed it to 19. Right? 14 minutes left. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, remember I said I saved outside? Now I saved inside here. So that's another proof that the code should have worked. Now here's the last proof. I have five master balls now my screen doesn't show up through but I'm gonna say I'm gonna toss my master balls away there you go five master balls if you did the same thing I just did then it's good for you now there's one more thing I need to tell you that is important um, let me just get this thing out. I really don't care. I'm not playing this game anyways. But anyways, I was gonna say this last step. Let's say you want to put more codes. Like, let's say I want to put a map on um, this map, this far map thing, so I could get a new or thing to map. So you put your SD card back. And hold up a sec. Yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. All right. You go to check your SD card. All right. Remember this happening a big A S S A V. Now it's just auto.sat. You could do the same step all over again. You import that, you put whatever you want to put, and put it, it inside your bag because not all codes will work, like walk through walls. Only putting only codes that you could put in your bag or whatever, like a map. And then you put it in your bag. So you could do this also. same step all over. You import this. You put whatever you want in your code and put it in your bag, like a master ball of rare candy. Then after that, you export, just like before, but you don't click anything, you just save in both ROMs and save folder. You X out of your game, mm -hmm. and you delete this. Because there should be a, be a big SAV, like kind of like that one. Should be Pokemon Emerald version dot SAV, SAV the big. One. So, you want to put more quotes? You do the same step. If you forgot how to do a step, just come back to my vid. If it is useful, if it's not, and you're still confused, whatever. But come back to my vid if you forgot. If you still need more understanding, uh. Just comment me. I will try to do better in explaining by typing to you, or if you want me to make a remake to the video, just tell me. I'll try to do a better video, and I'll and you could tell me how you want me to do the video, like how you want me to make you understand. But anyways, that's how you do it. Anyways, subscribe. Comment, subscribe, like it, dislike it, and peace out. Nintendo Freaker is out.